What is up everybody? Welcome to Alt Knots. Today we are going to go ahead and chit chat about our Haunted Out of a Book Club choice for the spookiest month of the year, October. If you've never been in the Haunted Out of a Book Club in the Yarn Dungeon before, normally what happens in the community tab, there's a poll that goes out at the end of the month and the entire ghoul squad gets together. We have three options and we choose which one we're going to listen to for that month. Then the last Sunday of the month, you come back to the Yarn Dungeon, we have a live, we chit chat, we crochet, and and then we pick the next one. However, this month there were a lot of spooky reads that either came out at the end of September or are coming out this week, next week, sometime in October that I absolutely want to listen to. So even though we're going to have one winner and we will still go ahead and have our live the last Sunday of the month, I'm going to be chit-chatting about everything that I'm going to be listening to. So that way, if you also maybe read this one really, really quickly and you need something else spooky to listen to, you have the entire list. I will link everything down below that we chit chat about. Pick your favorites, listen to all of them, or suggest some more in the comments. If there's something that I missed that you're like, okay, we need to listen to this one, definitely comment them as well. Tallied everything up, and the winner that we have this month is Such Sharp Teeth by Rachel Harrison. And this book is so brand new that it's not even out yet. The release date is October 4th. Summary. All right, let's chat about what it is. From the title, you can probably guess that it is a werewolf themed book. Book. It literally says a werewolf novel and here's the picture of the cover of the book just scream spooky season I don't know too much background on this. I really didn't want to to be honest I just kind of wanted to get into it young woman in need of a transformation finds herself in touch with the animal inside in this gripping Incisive novel from the author of cackle and the return So I have read cackle and I really really enjoyed that. That's actually a witchy book I read that last month. So if you you also want another thing to add onto your list, put Cackle on there. And that's why I was kind of excited about this one. I really liked the pace of Cackle. I liked the writing. So since it's the same author, I figured I'll probably like this. So again, the start date is not today because it actually can't be. I have mine on pre-order. So as soon as it's out, I will get it right to my audibles. Feel free to listen to it however you want, or you can go to your library, grab a copy there. Um, I just like audibles because then I can crochet as I'm listening to something. Thing. And I have a lot of crochet to do this month, so my Audible's wish list is rather long. Normally, I get three credits every single month, and all three credits are already taken. So we're gonna chit chat about the two that were a part of this voting, but they were not the winners. However, I am gonna listen to both of them. The first one is called Leech, and this one is actually out right now. Without knowing anything about this, I adore the cover. That totally screams Halloween to me. Frankenstein. We have a spooky castle. It says a surreal and horrifying debut. Leech defies our understanding of identity, hereditary, and bodily autonomy. That's all I wanted to know about it. Like I didn't do any more researching, so I will be purchasing that one today and actually starting to listen to this one while I'm waiting for What Sharp Teeth to come out on Tuesday. There goes my two credits. The last one that we had up was called Ghost Eaters, released on September 20th. Again with a spooky cover. I'm really hoping that this is like a haunted read because I absolutely have to listen to something like that during spooky season. Haunted places, haunted people, anything like that. I want a little something. And just from the title, it seems like there's gonna be supernatural activity, so I'm here for it. A terrifying supernatural, there we go, audiobook that explores ghosts, grief, and God complexes. There is quite a bit more for every single one of these books, just so you know, on Audible's with the synopsis, the little summary of it. So feel free to check it out if you want to know more or you want to get into it and see if it's something that you would enjoy. But sometimes I feel like knowing less and get just getting into it ends up making it a little more spooky. I don't know, that's just me. Though I am excited for Ghost Eaters, I am gonna start Leech right away. Like it's just, I want a poster of it, really. That's the cover draws me in immediately. Coming in with another Rachel Harrison, The Return, the top says her friend disappeared and a stranger came back. Not much more is needed. Just seems like it's going to be super spooky, invasion of the body snatchers type of book. This one has been out for a while and it's been on my wish list. So today's the day. Well, not today. 
but this month. A group of friends reunite after one of them has returned from a mysterious two-year disappearance in this edgy and haunting debut. Since I have already read Cackle by Rachel Harrison, I figured I probably will like this, and I enjoy the fact that this is gonna be, it just seems like it's gonna be suspense. I could be totally be wrong, and it could be something insanely different, but it seems like a, a finding things, an exploring things type of book. It is a nine hour and 35 minute book. Anyone is keeping track track of how many hours of read time I have. It's racking up, that's for sure. This one doesn't come out for a while. It's actually October 18th. That's the release date. So obviously it could not be our Ghoul Squad listen to for this month because it's just too far into October, but I am super obsessed with it just from the cover. We have a Lavender House. I'm not even sure from the cover what this is gonna be about. I just love the wallpaper. I would totally have this in my house. Nine hours, 57 minutes, a combination of Knives Out with a queer historical twist. What is it? Historical literature, fiction, mystery, and private investigation. So I don't have any other books that I'm listening to that are categorized as mystery. Perfect. Next up, we have Just Like Home, and the cover, I feel like I picked every single Audible book that I'm listening to in October by the cover. Could end up being a bad thing, could be a good thing, who knows, but they got me with this cover for sure. Very, very Halloween spooky. Another one that I would love to have a poster of. Just Like Home is a darkly gothic thriller, perfect for fans of Netflix, The Haunting of Hill House, which yes, I am a fan of that. Leave a pumpkin emoji down below if you're also a huge fan of that. They categorize this as contemporary fantasy and mystery. Okay, cool. So I have two mysteries this month. I'm really hoping that it's also going to be like, like a haunting. I hope that there's going to be a little bit of haunting in it since they compared it to that, but maybe it's just like the mystery aspect that it's going to be there. Now we're going to get into some of the classics that I listen to every October, starting with Legends of Sleepy Hollow. I'm sure you've seen a movie, a TV series, but if you've never actually read the book or listen to audible version, now's the time. Again, there's gonna be nothing shocking in there. It just really helps to set October, set up the spooky season for you. And it's very short, actually. It's only an hour and 17 minutes long. That's one that I need to read the first week of October. So sometime this week, I will start reading this. Next one is one that we've actually already listened to for our Haunted Audible Book Club, but it's immediately become a classic for me called Dark Harvest. If this doesn't bring you into the Halloween mood, I have no idea what's going to. So it's another one that's actually rather short and it's very fast paced. So things aren't really drawn out. You don't learn every little tidbit about every single character. A lot of the things that they chit chat about like are kind of left open-ended, but not in a bad way. I just mean that it's not over explained. It's just a fun ride. I think it's just the feel of it that I get from Dark Harvest that I'm like, yes, every single year I need to listen to this. And again, we just listened to this a few months ago and I'm already gonna listen to it again. That's how much I love it. Lastly, I have one to suggest that I listened to last month and absolutely loved it. It is called These Fleeting Shadows. Who would not want to live in that house, right? Like it's just such a creepy gothic haunted house. This was such a fun ride, honestly. Could not guess the ending. There were many different parts that when I was in it, I thought I knew the direction it was going and then it would completely spin the other way, as well as the pivotal turning point of the book, what actually was going on, who was causing the haunting, what was causing the haunting. I had a inklings of what it was going to be, but a lot of times in haunted books that I listen to, I know pretty much by, I don't even know, chapter two or three, I can at least have a solid guess of what it's gonna be, who it's gonna be. This one, I did not. I enjoyed this so much, I did not put it down. So it is, it's a rather long one, 10 hours and 48 minutes. It did not feel like that though. Once I turned it on, I think I listened to it in two days because I just turned it on and just did not shut it off 
really, really enjoyed all of the characters in there. And again, the whole mystery aspect behind it of why is this place haunted? What are all the little rituals happening? Why are they happening? It wasn't an annoying thing of like, I have all these questions and they're answered by another question. Eventually every question does get answered, but not overly answered either. Cause sometimes when everything is just drawn out, every single answer or question answered along the way, I don't want to read it again. I'm just like, okay, that was a fun ride and now I'm done. No, I would listen to this one even this month. I just finished it a couple weeks ago, but I would 100% listen to it again for spooky season. If you love haunted books, this is the perfect haunted place person type of book to read, in my opinion anyways. And the setting was just perfection for October. So if you really want to get into the October spooky vibe, highly suggest putting this one on the top of your wish list. So that is everything that I will be listening to for October. Hopefully you found a couple that you also are like super excited about because honestly, there is nothing on this list that I'm not incredibly excited about and want to start today. Like I love all of these. Again, we will have a live at 7 p.m. Central, the last Sunday of the month, which is October 30th. So our live recap for our Haunted Audible Book Club will happen. And then the very next day, we will have a Halloween party live at 7 p.m. Central in the Yarn Dungeon as well. So a lot of lives back to back to get you into the Halloween spirit. So don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you're gonna be working on as you're listening to our Haunted Audible Book Club for this month. Or if you're working on your Halloween costume and crochet form, some accessories, anything like that, please let me know that as well. Otherwise, for today, that is it. Have a fantastically spooky rest of your day and I will see you in my next video.